it'll just go up anything. I Woohoo! Look at that. Look <laughs> Old guy Knievel, that's me, man. Zulu Tango Foxtrot, this is Captain OG. I read you loud and clear. Over. Howdy, Captain. Did you get your new Milmo I sent you in that last speedball? Over. Negative, ZTF. I've been asses and elbows working on a new hard defense for them Blood Moon hordes. Over. Well, Captain, you got yourself a shiny new dirt bike sitting in the drop around 37755564. Over. Tango Mike, ZTF. I'll run right on over and grab it. My one concern, however, is that that dirt bike isn't going to have much room for storage. Over. Well, Captain, I thought of that too, so Alpha 6 approved one of them fancy new Ultra Backpacks, and I included that in the drop too. He said to tell you, however, to quit dragging your ass and get his CC ready for occupying on the double. Over. You take good care of me, ZTF. Please inform the CO that I'll get it done just as soon as I survive this next blood moon coming up tomorrow. It's going to be a bad one, and since my new defenses are not yet ready... I figured I'd hole up in the big old bookstore building for the night. Over. Roger that, Captain. I'll inform the CEO of your situation, and I wish you Godspeed. Over and out. Seven days and I, all in Alpha 21, this is the Apocalypse Ranger series. And in this episode, we're going to plant a garden and uh, get ourselves a dirt bike. And yeah, those two things in particular, and then we'll see where else, what else happens. Uh, so, um, as you uh, were probably able to deduce from my conversation with, uh, what's his name? Zulu. <laughs> I, always, I always want to call him Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, but Whiskey Tango Foxtrot in military terms actually means WTF. So, Zulu Tango Foxtrot. Um, so, we have basically built into the roleplay here that um, they have provided us with a larger backpack and the reason i'm doing this is because i want to start using the the dirt bike and the dirt bike only has uh a, one row of slots it's like the the bicycle um so and we we have the ability now to make the bike uh, the dirt bike and i was waiting until i could legit make that before you know i role played uh zulu tango fox tried giving that to us uh so let's go ahead and actually legitimately make that even though we're pretending that, you know, they're giving that to us. So let's see. If we go to tools and weapons, we already have the dirt bike chassis. We've had it for a long time, as a matter of fact. And so what we need to do is uh, make the, the parts, which we should be able to do based upon this. So we just need to make the dirt bike parts. And we have the chassis, and I think, yeah, those are for, for different motorcycles. Yeah, so, okay, so for the parts, what all do we need to make that? All of that stuff there. Okay, so we need 20 metal. We need mechanicals. We need plastic. We need leather and iron. Okay, so we'll craft that stuff. And then, um... All this stuff back in here. And then the dirt mic itself. It's going to need two wheels. It's going to need an engine and a battery. An engine and the battery doesn't matter. Okay. So that gives us all the parts to actually make the dirt bike itself. Um, you know what I'm actually going to do, though? Let's just go... Let's go in the creative menu for a second. Uh, we've got a dirt bike here. I'm not going to keep the, the die that came with it. 
All right, and then this stuff we're gonna just throw on the ground and <clears throat> as soon as this is finished, I'll just throw that away too. So that way we've actually paid for it. Okay, now we do have some drops um, that I in fact did miss because I was working on the horde base. Um, so I, I only know approximately where they would be. So let's go see if we can find those. Okay, there's one there. Oh, look! Zulu Tango Foxtrot left us a dirt bike in the drop. What a wonderful person he is. <laughs> okay, so we got our dirt bike finally. Um, let's see, what else did we get? We got a uh, magazine bundle. So we got two uh, wiring, two harvesting, and two armor. Okay, and then we also got this bundle of random melee mods. Um, okay. So those two will probably keep this. I mean, I, I've I rarely come across any clubs or baseball bats or anything, anyways, in this game. Um, but we'll you know we'll either sell that straight up or put it on something to sell. And then with this, we already have one of these two, but we'll we'll keep that as well. Okay, so if we put the motorcycle down, um. And then look at the inventory. You can see that it's it's only got these slots. So it's basically the same as a bicycle. Thus the reason why I went ahead and used a mod to increase my backpack size. Because uh, this is just so much better to get around on than this thing. This thing is fast and it's fine on the highway and it's got plenty of storage space. But it doesn't, um, it doesn't handle rough terrain very well. So let's pick this up. And what we're going to do... In here is, I don't know, we'll probably end up just carrying all this extra medical stuff in our backpack and candies from now on and not even putting it in here. Uh, the one thing, though, that we will keep in the motorcycle is the gasoline itself. All right. So this thing scoots along pretty good. It's, uh, I don't know if it's faster than the cruiser. It looks like it might actually be. It moves along pretty good. But the more important thing is, uh, it'll it'll just go up anything. Woohoo! Look at that. Look. <laughs> Old guy Knievel, that's me, man. Whoop! <laughs> gotta get we gotta get a little the requisite wheelie in here too. Oh shit! All right, cool. So, um, so this will probably be our main vehicle for now, at least until, you know, you know, eventually I'd like to get a hum, a Humvee or, you know, one of the other military vehicles, um, you know, once we can legit make them, but, uh, for the time being, this will be our, our vehicle. Uh, it's got a little bit better acceleration than the cruiser does too, which is nice. Okay. Now there's supposed to be another drop. Uh, is this one further out? No. I think that's the one that we just did. So let's get rid of that. Uh, there we go. Uh, but I think there's one further out this way. So let's go see if we can find it. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. That is fan freaking fantastic, man. I love it. Okay, this terrain's a little... A little rougher though, so that might make spotting that other drop a little bit on the difficult side. But we'll just kind of ride around a little bit in here to see if we can spot it. This is just more, there's no way that cruiser would be, or even the mini bike for that matter, would be able to handle the train like this thing can. This is amazing. Just trying to see if I can spot any orange smoke. Oh, look, there's a candy striper nurse. Huh. I don't, I, I, I don't know if I've seen one of those yet. They're from the NPC mod that I have installed, of course. Okay, well, I don't know where the hell that drop is. And I'm not inclined to spend too much more time looking for it. Let's go just a little further this way. Oh my god. 
Wow, this thing gets damaged easily. We're already at 9%. All right, we're going to have to be careful of that. That's the original Nurse Nancy. Okay, yeah, I don't see that drop up here. I mean, who knows where the hell it's at. So, um, let's head back to the base then. And we are, like I said, we're going to plant ourselves a garden because we've got maxed out living off the land and we also have maxed out Master Shift too, so a little bit tough getting around that. Look at that thing go up, <laughs> go up that mega steep bank there. That is just amazing. It's possible the drop could be up north. I'll just take one la last quick look that way. Alright, well, we'll have to wait until we get access to an aircraft. And then we can fly over the area to see if we can find it. There was uh, actually a third drop as well that was, I think, to the west of our... What is this? Oh, is this Fort Camo? Oh, hey, you know what we could do is get some landmines whilst we're here. Does this place have landmines? Oh no, this is Fort Razor. Have we even done Fort Razor before? I'm not seeing any landmines. If there are any, we can... Oh shit. Uh, we can safely run over them. Because we got skills. We got mad skills. But yeah, it doesn't look like they have any landmines around this fort. At least not around the outside perimeter. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually done a fort razor that I can recall. Oh, shit. We're getting massively sidetracked anyways. Let's just... Oh, ouch. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Our bike down to 10%. <coughs> we can't keep doing that. Shit. Okay. Let's go over to the Horde base. Uh, incidentally, I haven't had any time to, to do anything more with that since the last episode. Um, okay, so we were here, and then I, yeah, I put a mark over to the west. I could not actually see the drop. I just guessed that it was to the west. It's a guess to the west. That's what it is. So let's just go this way and see if we might be able to spot that orange smoke. At least it's not a really bad terrain through here. But, like I said, this could be anywhere because I didn't actually see the drop itself. I just knew the plane was over in this area because I was down in the hole. There it is. Nice. Let's repair this. Get out of here, Tom. All right, so we got a forge book. Ooh, 100 steel. That's actually pretty generous. That's not bad. What do we got? Uh, two farming. You now do corn. Um, I think is corn or potatoes the highest one? We have to look. Seeds. Potatoes. Okay, so we just need two more of those magazines, and then we'll be able to plant everything. Awesome. Or not plant everything, I mean make make seeds. 
Okay, let's get this drop off the uh, list there. And then, like I said, we'll we'll go looking for this one when we get an aircraft that we can use. I mean, we do have the we do have the chopper at um, the CC, but um, I don't think I'll use it until I can legitimately legitimately make it. I just kind of use it that one time for the to help us get moved. So, all right, let's head on back to the base and uh, get ourselves a garden planted. Ooh. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Well, I think maybe what we'll do is uh, do a treasure map first. So it's that way. Quads treasure map. Okay, let's go do a treasure map. Where'd my dirt bike go? Uh, there it is. All right, let's see what we get. All right. That's seven, over 7,000 dukes. That's pretty good. And gold and whatnot. Okay. I've had worse. I've had better, too. Oh, yeah? I can't believe how tough she is. <laughs> okay. Quit banging on my house. Uh, all right, guys, we're back. <laughs> just, I just got a text from my daughter um, saying that she and her husband were in a car accident, but that they're okay. Um, <clears throat> so I was like freaking out <laughs> for a minute there, uh, but it was just a, it was just a fender bender. It was kind of a bad fender bender, but not like real bad like the car's not total or anything like that and unfortunately it looks like my son-in-law is probably going to be at fault because they hit someone from behind so but you know stuff like that happens the main thing is that they're okay and uh, my blood pressure just went back down a little bit okay so we need to uh we need to make crop plots first and then we have to decide where this garden's going to go so we've got a whole bunch of this stuff um, I already have three crop plots as well. I know we're going to need nitrate, which I don't have any of. All right, we're going to have to go mine up some nitrate. What else do we need for farming plots? Oh, let's take these dirt bike parts and throw them out. Uh, let's see, track. Wood and clay. Okay, we have plenty of wood and plenty of clay, so we just need to go uh, find a nitrate node somewhere and just grab a whole bunch of that real quick. So let's do that now. Let's see if there's a feasible spot inside the compound to do that. We could we could do it along here, I suppose. There's a pretty decent amount of open space. We could do something back here, but... There's not quite as much space. The advantage of doing it here, though, is it's, you know, right next to the, the kitchen and stuff. But uh, there's not a ton of space there for expansion. Don't really want to do it out here. Yeah, I think... We could, we could put it in here too, I suppose. Yeah, why don't we put it in here? Let's put it in here. I mean, if it gets, if it outgrows this area, then we'll just expand it over to there and maybe even just remove this fence. It doesn't need to be there. So yeah, we'll start with this corner here. Get rid of this too. Okay. 
So let's uh, actually, yeah, I guess I got to get the farm plots themselves going. So we're just going to make as many as we can. We're just going to make a shit ton of them. Let's grab a bunch of clay. Got a bunch of uh, rotting flesh. We got a full stack of nitrate and uh, some wood. All right, so how many of these can we make? 150? Mm. <laughs> I, don't know if we, I don't know if we want to make that many. All right, hold on a sec. <laughs> I, did, I didn't think we, could, we had enough to make that many. Let's see what we're looking at here in terms of space. Let's get rid of this. I might actually not have had to do that. Whatever. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. We can go seven that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why don't we start with 70? Yeah. Why don't we start with 70 and then we'll, um, you know, expand from there as appropriate. I mean, 70 is still a pretty decent amount of crop plots. Oh, and we have, we already have three, so let's make 67. We have three in here. No, three in here. Okay. I'm going to put all that stuff back in there for now. We'll put this nitrate. We could turn that nitrate into gunpowder, but I have a decent amount of gunpowder at present, so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is dig up 70 spots to put these crop plots in. Okay, let's grab the crop plots. And then we'll get started with those three. And then obviously we're going to have to wait for the rest of those to finish before we can plant the rest of the crops. Oh, that door doesn't even close. I'll probably fix that at some point. So these are all the seeds I have accumulated that will get started with planting. Corn and potatoes are the most important. Coffee is also pretty important too. The rest of it, eh, useful but not quite as critical. So I think what we'll do now is we will go get, and I am eventually going to fix that, by the way, in case you were curious. It's not going to stay that way forever. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, let's grab whatever coffee we do have. And, um, let's see, that gives us a 40 stamina bonus, 30 stamina, 30. And this gives us 30 plus an, uh, an extra fortitude point. Not that that matters because, oh, no, actually, we don't have fortitude maxed out yet. Okay, so for mining purposes, the shepherd pie is definitely going to be the best thing to to take. And then... We can currently make three more coffee. Okay, so we'll make three of those. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go out to the horde base. And I'm going to start digging out the perimeter of the pit. And see what kind of progress we can get done on that. I'm going to wait until I've got all the crop plots in before I plant the seeds so they're all planted at the same time. Not that that matters a whole lot because not everything grows at exactly the same rate. But they're close. They are close. And I hear our resident screamer showing up. Okay, I'm going to go grab the coffees. And, uh, let's...
let's top these off one more time here. Oh, I need a stack of those. Uh, let's make some bullet casings. More forged steel. And more cement. Alright, good. So we're starting to accumulate a decent amount of, of concrete here. As you can see. And the metals can go here. So we've got a nice little um, uh, stockpile now of steel too. But we will need all of it and much, much more before it's all said and done. So repair kits. How many do I have? Nine? Yeah, we're, we're in pretty good shape. I have, to, I have to look more closely because this backpack uh, mod has... Uh, made everything a lot smaller and uh, I'm old so it makes it hard to see shit okay so I think we are ready to go uh, do some mining I'll probably still continue using the cruiser like when we go into town um, we can take it for that but if we're doing anything cross country the motorcycles is what we're going to want or the dirt bike rather is what we're going to want to use until we can get a better vehicle for that sort of thing. Ronnie McDonnie, what are you doing down there? Okay, so the name of the game here is dig all the way around the perimeter, all the way down to bedrock. And um, I've got plenty of blocks here to make the ladder to get back out. my ladder, Tom. Um, but I'm also, you know, I'm also going to dig a return tunnel back out too. So I might just, once I get down there, I might actually just do that. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to dig overnight and probably until, I don't know, 10, 30, 11 tomorrow morning. Then we'll need to stop doing this and Get ready to uh, do Horde Night 63 in the Crackabook building. And with that being said, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. See ya.